Hey guys, welcome back to some more Motorsport Manager and part one of season four of our Force India career and today we are back with the game. We've had a few days off, uh, we've started F1 2017, if you haven't seen that yet make sure you go and check it out. Uh, the, the career mode's been very interesting so far, if I do say so myself. Let us know what you think about the new webcam graphics as well, I, I, I quite like them. But I made them, so you know. Uh, hopefully, I do like them. Um, so, just a few things to sort of update you about from the off season. Uh, we are sticking with Hamilton and Alonso at least for the first few races. We may well draft in Perez at some point because we've still got him as our reserve driver. But uh, let's just go through the teams. Um, we'll start with Andretti, the new team. Uh, they've signed Stoffel Van Dorn to be one of their drivers, so I think he'll be quite strong for them. Uh, we've kept the same driver lineup, obviously Hamilton and Alonso. A lot of people critical of Hamilton, but you know, I think he was quite unlucky last season. We'll give him a, a couple of races at least uh, to see if he can recapture his own old form. We've brought in Adrian Newey as our lead designer as Paddy Lowe left at the end of last year. He's gone over to Red Bull. Adrian Newey's come to us. I think that's a Pretty fair replacement. Uh, McLaren, I've stuck with Sebastian Vettel. Uh, Kobayashi has moved down to be their reserve driver now, um, in place of uh, Ferrucci, who's come in as one of their main drivers. I think that's quite a good signing for McLaren, actually. Um, we then go on to Mercedes. Carlos Sainz continues there with Daniel Ricciardo. He joins uh, as sort of instead of. Bruno Senna, who has gone to someone, someone else, but Bottas has gone to Red Bull Race, and that might give you a clue as to where Bruno Senna has gone, because uh, Bottas has joined from Williams, Ricardo has gone to Mercedes, I think that's a very interesting partnership, uh, those two there, that is going to be an exciting battle for the championship, you would think. So Max Verstappen still stays at Red Bull for uh, fifth year? Yeah, in-game fifth year. Uh, Renault have stuck with Nico Hulkenberg and Julian Palmer, which is fairly interesting. Um, Scuderia Ferrari have signed Lance Stroll as their main driver. Giovinazzi moves to reserve. I don't know what the thinking behind that is, but Kimi Raikkonen, the world champion at the age of 39, continues at Ferrari. Scuderia Toro Rosso have continued with Kvyat and Gasly with Urutia being the reserve driver. He's got eye problems. Very interesting. Uh, team Pensk have stuck with their team, uh, although Ocon has joined as a reserve driver. And Williams have signed Bruno Senna for this year. He's 35 now and he joins Castroneves, the oldest man in the sport at 43, and Gary Paffett is, uh, is the reserve. And that is it for Formula 1. Uh, so quite a few changes over the uh, sort of winter. Um, yeah, I have tried to apply for the Ferrari job, but uh, yeah, for some reason it's it's not working because um, because I've apparently only just joined my team, which is just ridiculous. But never mind. Anyway, we have the the first race of the season. If we have a look at the the sort of standings we're expected to be the fifth best team. We can't seem to really budge that. Um, you know, we will try and develop parts for the car as as quickly as we can. Um, but it is going to be difficult. You know, it's it's it is going to be difficult. I mean, design is ninth best on the grid. Maybe that's what we need to upgrade. Um, so if we do that, we'll upgrade the design center. Um, and maybe upgrade the brakes, or do we go, uh, what's that, that's Staff and Brand, uh, Staff Centre, yeah, let's just upgrade that as well. I know that's a lot of money we've just spent, but hopefully speculate to accumulate is, is the message. Anyway, let's get into this first Grand Prix, we've just stuck with stock. Um, parts for this weekend. It is going to be a sort of war of attrition in this race, you would imagine. Um, you know, if any, last year is anything to go by, 
we, we could be in a, a decent position in this race, but uh, it's a while since I've played Motorsport Manager. This is the new update, by the way. Um, so hopefully we'll see some AI mistakes. We'll see just a, f a few different things. Um, I've been told that you don't have to um, start a new save game for it. I might be wrong. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, we might just be talking rubbish there if we haven't got, the say, the weight stripping and stuff like that. But uh, here comes practice. As as always, we're not going to do practice. Somebody mentioned in the comments saying that you get a tenth every 1% uh, over 90% optimization. That's rubbish. It, it really is. Uh, there is the weight stripping, so we can, we can strip some weight off the car, but we're not doing that because uh, the reliability is quite shocking already. We don't want to uh, exasperate the problem. Uh, but we can save setups now, which is an interesting one. So we will just simulate the first um, one of the season. But if we start noticing a bit of a difference in, in practice, then you know maybe we'll change our, our minds on the matter. But um, 20 minute practice sessions now. I believe that's what they were before. But I might be wrong. But we're currently 5th and ninth, which is decent but we're second off the pace which is the more worrying part of it Ricardo and Sainz uh, battling it out for top position in the Mercedes yet again they're looking the fastest but who have got the reliability can we build a lead in the championship again uh, that's the question I, th I be thoroughly believe we've got the best driver lineup possible at the moment we've obviously got Perez in the sidelines but He's, he's got a couple of more years other than Fernando. This is probably going to be Fernando's last year in the sport, if not half a year. You know, um, if he doesn't perform in the first half of the season, we'll draft him Perez then. And, you know, um, I think that's, that's the best way of going about it. So, let's go for that. Um, car setup they're not very happy with. Um... So he basically wants a bit more uh, front wing, so we'll go for that. Um, he was quite happy with his um, yeah. So we wanted sort of there. Uh, he was happier with. Slightly slower straight line speed, so that might be about right for. Lewis, uh, we will just go for that, and then we'll save that setup if that's good, uh, and keep that for next season. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go 17 and a half, 27 and a half. Has Fernando had any decent? Yeah, it's kind of the same as as Lewis really. Um, we'll go for that. I mean, I'm quite confident of getting out of Q1. We will play it anyway because we do want to get these setups kind of nailed. So, uh, oh, qualifying. Oh no, Q1 uh, uh, elimination. I thought for a second there that it was back to the sort of one session of qualifying, but uh, apparently not. So we'll see what what differences uh, there are. Um. There's no differences on there, I don't think. Overtake specialist. I don't know if that was uh, there before. I can't really remember, to be honest with you. But uh, here we go. In Australia, the first day of the season. Have they changed the circuits? Perhaps they have. I really don't know. It looks a bit different to me, but... I can't remember it being a... a like a a, he, a, a stiletto <laughs> shoe, but whoa, 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 friends! Oh yeah, that's because um, we've got the Andretti motorsport cars. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but uh, Hamilton currently half a second off uh, Stroll, who's going quickest. Um, 
It will be interesting to see who wins the battle between Hamilton and Alonso. Hamilton comes through. He currently goes quickest. Uh, and Alonso goes third quickest behind Vettel. Uh, now Bottas has gone quickest in the Red Bull with Stroll going quickest in the Ferrari now. But Hamilton currently third. Verstappen has uh, budged into third now. Raikkonen has gone second. Uh, Ricardo and Sainz are still to go through. So Hamilton looking like he's seventh at the moment with Alonso in ninth. Uh, Hulkenberg's one to keep an eye on. He has split our cars. Um, yeah, I don't think Palmer's going to get... Oh, Kvyat's uh, split our cars as well. So Alonso needs to get out there and, and do something a little bit better. Now then, Hamilton. Um, a bit better on, on this front. So we've gone 88% optimum balance at the moment. That's something to keep note of. Um, I'll move that like that, perhaps. And send them straight back out there. Uh, just to get some more knowledge. Now, Alonso's wings are excellent, apparently. Um, move that there. Do that, maybe, for Fernando. <clears throat> we'll see how they do. Uh, but Alonso down in 13th at the moment, so he definitely needs a better performance. Senna's all the way up in 5th for Williams. That's a terrific lap for him. So, you know, Senna could could do something in that Williams this year. Um, you know, I am starting to get a little bit bogged down in the, in the Force India job. I can't really see us progressing much more. I know a few of you guys are optimistic that we can just buy our way to the championship, but you know, after four seasons, the pecking order has stayed virtually the same. Um, and you know, maybe it's maybe it is worth trying to get that Ferrari job or something in in the future. I don't think we will. I think we've been offered the Williams job at one point in the save, uh, but I didn't take it. Because I thought Williams was a bit of a sideways step, but maybe looking at it, they've perhaps got a better potential to grow. Hamilton is improving on this lap, which is good to see. Uh, Alonso is also improving on his lap, but uh, Hamilton currently improves. Um, Alonso didn't improve on that lap, I don't really know why. It is lagging a little bit for me, hopefully it isn't for you guys. Um, just It just lags sometimes this game, I don't really know why that is but for me it does anyway um, yeah 8th and 13th at the moment we're not going to get anything else out of it because that is the end of qualifying uh, this looks a little bit nicer this track grip thing um, which is nice to see but there we go at the end of Q1 Gasly going out in Q1 is probably the biggest surprise Van Dorn uh, managing to make it through in the Andretti car. That's a, a pretty damn good performance. Uh, it is very difficult. Ferrucci's in the McLaren, isn't he? Yeah, so... Um, yeah, McLaren, yet again, not looking fast. And, and that's maybe something that I'd be interested in, going to McLaren. Uh, but we'll just see how it goes. We will see how it goes. Let's get into Q2. Uh, hopefully we've got a bit of a better setup for Fernando this time. Um, I don't think we do. Yeah, so he wants a stiffer setup and more straight line speed. I think. I think. So let's go for that for Fernando. Now Hamilton. Great, great, great. So he's on 94%. Um, maybe do that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll go for that. Send them out there. Gone out at virtually the same time, which is fine absolutely fine hopefully you guys are good and still enjoying the series and wanting to see more i'm certainly enjoying the series and the views are 
consistently getting a little bit better with every season, which is which is quite good. Um, you know, obviously you can look at season one and say that's got a lot more views than season three, but um, the people that are tuning in week in and week out is is generally going up. So that's good to see, and I'm thoroughly enjoying this series. We've, we've done quite a lot of episodes now. I think we've done 40, well it'll be 48 won't it? So we'll be closing in on episode 50 of this series and I think that's great. You know, obviously I lost a couple of recordings earlier on so um, we haven't done 48 episodes so far but still still doing alright. We're two tenths off stroll in that first sector. Alonso is Quite a bit off Hamilton at the moment. Uh, so yeah, here comes Hamilton. He goes quickest. Alonso half a second off. Uh, Vettel splits us yet again. Bottas goes slightly quicker than Hamilton um, in the Red Bull. So that's that's a very good lap from Hamilton, I think. Uh, yeah, obviously Sainz is going to go quickest. Or is he? The, the rain's come out now. Is Ricardo going to get into the the top ten? I'm not sure, but Fernando's in trouble. Fernando's out. Fernando's out. Uh, that's annoying. Hmm, six tenths off Hamilton. That's not really good enough for Fernando. Uh, it's difficult to tell what he wants. It really is. I think he wants a bit more straight line speed, so let's give him it. Um, bit of a softer setup. Let's go for that. I know we're not going to improve, but we can at least. Um, try and improve the setup of his car. Um, you know, I've kind of messed up Hamilton's thing. He's happy with that, but not happy with that. So let's just do that. I think I think that'll work. Um, yeah, I think we've sent him out on soft tires, haven't we? That's a waste. Never mind though. Um, so yeah, we'll bring Hamilton in at the end of this lap because he's certainly not going to improve. But uh, Fernando, you never know, might do something on those intermediate tyres. Might work his old magic and make a tenth of a second to get us through <laughs> to Q3. But uh, overall, not a bad start to the season for us. Hamilton about a second off the pace of the leaders, which is what you'd expect. We're, we're looking to take advantage in the um, the sort of changeable conditions races and the the races where we get reliability gains on, on others. That's where we took advantage last season. That's why we were in the, the championship battle last season. We'll bring Fernando in. Uh, oops. Clicked off Motorsport Manager. There we go. Uh, so is Hamilton happy with his setup? He is 96% optimal. Um, we'll save that like that. And we'll see. Oh, hey, the lights have come on. Great stuff. Alonso coming in now. But he's out, of course. Just a bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. 98% optimal. Uh, so we'll save that as well. And then, yeah, we will see how the the third qualifying session goes. Apparently, Hamilton's setup is almost as optimal as it can be. Um, but we'll see about that. <laughs> we will certainly see about that. 
people are just coming through now. I don't even know why they bothered going out. Maybe they're trying to optimise their setups as well. But, um, yeah, Sainz Jr. yet again looking very, very quick. But going out in Q2, Alonso Van Dorn. What a performance to get a 12th on Andretti's debut. Kvyat, Palmer and Castroneves all going out as well. So, yeah, Carlos Sainz looking good at the moment. Certainly a, a championship contender. Remember when we tried to sign him a few years ago, how different things could have been if we'd signed him. Uh, I'm going to just send Hamilton straight out. Um, yeah, we do have two new sets of it, so that's fine. Send him straight out there, see what 96% optimization does for you. So technically, you should be 8 tenths off. You know, if you got uh, the, whoever said you gain a, a tenth every percent. Um, if that's true information, we should be 8 tenths off pole position, but somehow I don't see that happening. But if I have to eat a humble pie, I will. Um, yeah, Hamilton in a bit of a world of his own, which is good. Doesn't look like it is going to rain at any point in this session, so that's good. Um, I've got four, eight. So I've got people in front of Hamilton on his lap. That's really unfortunate. It's Daniel Ricciardo, I think, that's come out ahead of Hamilton. So, how is Lewis Hamilton going to do in this qualifying session? That is the question. He's going to be quicker than Senna and Vettel because they're on slow tyres. Um, so he's going to be eighth at least. Our battle is with Hulkenberg, really. Um, he's about six tenths off. He's done a 130.7. Who's coming through now? That's Vettel. He's slower. Um, but we're already a second off the pace, and Sainz Jr. is even going quicker than that. Fair enough, Hamilton had traffic. Um, but Sainz Jr. coming through now. And what's he going to make the benchmark? A 129.3, but 1.4 seconds off the pace now. So, you know. We'll have a, a little look at Hamilton's lap times as well and see if he has improved on his previous best. Um, so on that one he did a 130.7. On the 94 he did a 130.3. Explain that to us. Um, yeah, let's just send him straight out there again. Clear track. He's got no excuses this time. Uh, he should be making up at least four tenths of a second if not more. Um, which would bring him on par with Valtteri Bottas, which would be pretty decent. To be mixing it with the Red Bulls, I I'd be very happy with that uh, on the first day of the season. We'll see how Alonso does in the race tomorrow, but I am kind of tempted to swap him with Perez. It's a bit harsh on him considering he did so well in last year's championship, but he didn't really do anything on outright pace. It was more just he was good at taking the opportunity when he had it. Hamilton improves in sector one. It'll be interesting to see how he improves throughout the lap, or if he improves. Sector two, he's improved as well, and now coming through the final section. He's looking good, and here he comes up to the line. Lewis Hamilton does improve by three tenths of a second and stays in seventh, but that is not his fastest lap of the weekend. Um, but he is very, very close to Bottas in sixth, which is a good start for us. We'll keep an eye on Hulkenberg because he is improving. Um, Hopefully not by enough. It doesn't look like he's doing it by enough, but he is going to improve. And here he comes, Nico Hulkenberg up to the line, and he's 1.4 seconds off. So, Sainz Jr. going quicker again, by the way, by another couple of tenths. And he is really, really... Oh, whoa! That was a big lap from Sainz Jr. He's half a second quicker than Ricardo. Mercedes look in a world of their own again. Scary times. 
Scary, scary times. Uh, Bottas has gone up to third, by the way, only half a second off the leaders, so we're not quite as close to Red Bull as we'd hoped. <sighs> but hopefully, they can have some reliability problems in the race and we can take advantage of them. That That is the plan. So... Carlos Sainz on pole position with his teammate Daniel Ricciardo in second. The two Red Bull protégés uh, driving for Mercedes. That's hilarious. But here we go. Let's get into it. Uh, I'm assuming Alonso can push it to the limit. Yes, he can. And we'll go on race trim for him as well. The car setups look good. Uh, we are going to attack from the off for both of them. Why not? Well, let's get into it. Here we go. Ready for the lights. Lights out, away we go here for the first race of season four. Lewis Hamilton off to a poor start, but trying to have a little bit of a battle with the cars ahead, but he's already dropped down to ninth place. That's not a good start for him. And Fernando Alonso now up in the eighth position. We've seen some mistakes behind already so people making mistakes on this opening lap Fernando Alonso up to 7th Lewis Hamilton down to 11th not helping any of you critics out there um, make make your minds up on him and yeah, he's back up to 9th now though which is good so Alonso closing in on 5th place uh, Senna so Alonso up to 5th now now up to 3rd and the virtual safety car is out uh, we are not going to pit. Daniel Ricciardo is out of the race. He has crashed. Um, let's just go on to backup and low. We still have about a minute of this um, virtual safety car period. But Fernando Alonso up to third at the moment. Lewis Hamilton in a very, very good sixth now after dropping down to 11th on the opening lap. So a good start for us, which is exactly what we needed after, you know... Uh, an average qualifying so we've got four seconds left we, we're gonna go high and push and high and push and we're gonna get into it here we go so Hamilton up to fourth good restart for him and now he's having a look at Fernando Alonso who's in third position here comes Fernando up to the line so Sainz Jr. leading the race with Kimi Raikkonen, the world champion, in second. Fernando Alonso is in third with Lewis Hamilton in fourth. Valtteri Bottas is in fifth, which is good for him. And Bruno Senna is in sixth. So I think now we go to medium, medium. Um, Alonso's got brand new tyres, of course, so Alonso can probably afford to push a little bit harder than Lewis. Um, in terms of the driving styles but we'll keep an eye on Lewis uh, maybe bring him in this lap um, his parts are looking average I think maybe fix his gearbox and that's about it uh, we'll bring him in and put him onto the soft tyres and that they should last him until the end of the race we'll bring him in though and Hopefully, that should get him to the end of the race quite nicely. Alonso has obviously got that wonderful perk that uh, he can push his car right to the limit and not worry about his parts breaking, um, which is a, a real bonus in the first race of the season. Alonso closing in on Raikkonen in second place. I can't believe Giovinazzi's not racing anymore. That's, that's crazy talk. But we'll keep an eye on Lewis Hamilton's pit stop on the left-hand side uh, and see how he does. Uh, there's been a mistake on the tyres, uh, but it's been fixed now. And yeah, he is away in 19th place, but should be able to get to the end of the race. And hopefully, um, you know, with reliability being an issue, Hamilton should be back into the race in no time. But Alonso... 
Doing well at the moment in second place, fighting for his career, of course, now. Um, he's now leading the race. He's probably got a couple of more laps on these super soft tyres. Um, there's a lot of mechanical work going on. I don't know what that's all about. I assume it's just because of the, the reliability of the cars. Uh, Alonso should be absolutely fine. We may even win this opening race if uh, all goes to plan. Um, but we'll keep pushing with Fernando. Do actually do we bring him in? We'll we'll bring him in this lap. I think there's no point running those tyres down to zero. Um, yeah, do we just bring him in and put him on another set of super softs? I think that's a good idea. We'll bring him straight in. Come on, Fernando. Try and save some fuel while we're we're in there. Has there been a mistake? It looks like there has been. Yep. So that's two mistakes already in the pit stops. Which is just stupid. Well, Alonso has come out ahead, just ahead of Lewis Hamilton. So we're 11th and 12th at the moment. There's a lot of people who haven't pit. But they might not be planning to pit in this race, so we're in pretty much a net position at the moment. Um, Bottas and Sainz and Raikkonen are ahead of us. Panel just came off the, the front wing, that's not good. Um, but we'll have to, to cope with it. Hamilton can probably push a little bit more. So we're now up to 10th and 11th, which is good. Uh, we're assuming Powell will come in at some point. I'm assuming Castro Neves will come in at some point, and even the medium tyre runners surely can't last to the end. Uh, maybe Paganord can can possibly stretch it, but um, you know, the likes of Kvyat, Palmer, Castro Neves, and uh, Ferrucci and Powell will hopefully be coming in. So here they come. Uh, we're now up to 6th and 7th, which would be a good opening day result for us. Uh, we've got four, or 5 laps to go, including this one. Um, we're managing to control the pace quite well. Um, we have got people with uh, mechanical issues ahead, which is good to see for us. Uh, Castro Neves hopefully coming into the pits this lap. So we're looking like we're, we're in a net 4th and 5th at the moment which w would honestly be a very strong opening result um, so Alonso up to fifth now uh, I mean even even Bottas's tyres aren't looking particularly healthy Hamilton not possibly gonna hold off Stroll, Stroll has caught up now uh, we will push the the engines a little bit more So, yeah, fourth place, Ferrucci is coming into the pits at the end of this lap. He's the only one not to not to stop yet. So he comes in, and Alonso up to fourth, Hamilton up to fifth. We're possibly going to struggle to um, hold off Lance Stroll. Bottas does look like he has a problem, and I think he will have to come into the pits at some point. Um, Raikkonen has a problem. What about Sainz? Sainz looks alright at the moment. Um, we're just going to keep going with Hamilton. There's no point pitting him. Because if we pit him, he's going to drop outside of the points anyway. So we might as well keep him out there. And see what he can do. We are going to move him on to that though. So let's keep an eye on Fernando. He's the one that can possibly get a podium out of this for us. Which would be... An incredible performance. Moving down to medium on the on the tyres. Um, what's happened to Lance Stroll? Stroll's come into the pits again, which is an interesting choice. Two laps from the end. Um, Bottas. Oh, Bottas looks like he's retired. He has retired. Bottas is out. That could be Hamilton very soon, though. Uh, so Alonso up to third. How's Raikkonen doing? His car is fine at the moment. It's not sparking up or anything like that. Sainz's car is also 
Um, not looking too good. Hamilton has just passed Alonso. What's happened here? Hamilton has all of a sudden found some pace. And Hamilton is is going to finish third if he can keep it going. So Hamilton coming round to get his first podium for Force India. He finishes third. Alonso has dropped all the way to fourth. I assume his tyres just fell off the cliff. I mean, they've almost ran down to zero, but everybody's tyres have pretty much ran down to zero. But third and fourth, what a start to the season for us. Um, yet again, reliability becoming an issue for some of the teams. But Carlos Sainz has won the race. He's won the opening Grand Prix for Mercedes, which is a good return to form for them. And Kimi Raikkonen finishes in second. Good stuff. I enjoyed that race. Uh, it was a little bit stressful at times, but third and fourth, we can be absolutely thrilled with that. Any penalties to apply? Not by the looks of things. So, yeah, Carlos Sainz winning. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen in second. We managed to get third with Lewis Hamilton. Are Fernando Alonso's days number? That is the question we have took the lead in the Constructors' Championship. Good start for us. I don't think we're going to quite have enough to um, win the Constructors this year. We might sneak a Drivers' Championship if we really do uh, hit luck, but um, no. Things are good. Things are really good. What's happened there? Uh, what's this traits thing? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, Hamilton's relationship with Peter Bonington has, has gone up again, which is good. Um, Fernando Alonso's morale's good. Hamilton's morale's good. Perez's is meh. But I think we might we might actually try... Well, no, no, I think it would be harsh on Alonso to bring Perez straight in. But uh, we'll keep an eye on that and see how things are going. So... If you've enjoyed that first episode, make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does mean a lot for me and for the channel. Make sure you do check out F1 2017 as well. I've really, really enjoyed making that so far. Uh, and there'll be plenty more on the channel throughout the year. So, uh, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.